The stage is set for another SWAC Championship Showdown. Graham Fam overcame a big scare as the Tigers fought back against the rally. And the G-Men take the first step towards a possible dynasty? We tackle these stories and a whole lot more. Stay tuned, GFN starts now. What's up, Graham fam? I'm Damian Reynolds, and welcome to GFN. Since the Fobs era, the Bayou Classic has been Grambling's gateway to an HBCU National Championship. Since 2014, both teams were ranked in the top of the SWAC West Division, in essence turning this longtime conference rivalry into a playoff game in front of well over 60,000 fans and on national TV. And this year wasn't any different. Now, let's take a look at the GFN game day performance. The Tigers came ready for step one in their quest to repeat as champions. First quarter. First and 10, Austin Howard picked off by Jatarius Pouncey, putting Grambling in excellent position. A few plays later, Kincaid keeps it on the option, then cuts it back for the touchdown. Tigers draw first blood in New Orleans. Touchdown, Tigers. Second quarter. Southern's knocking on the door. Third and six. Howard tries to take off, but Grambling brings him down for the sack. Jags go for the field goal, but shanks it. Wide left. Impressive drive, but Southern walks away empty-handed. Grambling goes to work. Third and 11. Kincaid fires it down the field to Daryl Clark. 30 yards on the pickup. Then Carter breaks free, 21 yards for another first down. Down to the 30 yard line. Next play, Kincaid scrambles to the left and connects with Carter again. Carter, touchdown. Grambling extends his sleeve, capping off an 80 yard drive. Howard rolls to the right with a quick out pass. And Pouncey with a big hit shutting that down early. Third and six, Howard spots his man and delivers a strike. Dylan Beard takes the ball down inside of Grambling's 30. A few plays later, Devon Ben punches it in from one yard out. And that's a touchdown. Jaguars finally get on the board, cutting it to a one possession game. Grambling marched down the field trying to answer. Kincaid takes off, makes a few moves, and gets in for the TD. But what? A hands to the face penalty brings it back. Grammy goes for the field goal to extend the lead before the half. Third quarter. After marching down the field, Sutter decides to go for the field goal. Jatarius Pouncey on the block. Once again, the Jags come away empty-handed on the drive. Someone up here earlier said special teams gonna have to step up and make a play. Later in the quarter, Howard making things interesting and hits Kendall Catalan. Touchdown Southern! 21 yards, Jags on the rally. Grounding's next possession, Carter swings it out to the right and gets hurt on the play. In the backfield, throwing down Carter at the 30-yard line. Elijah Allen for a loss of five. Graham fam getting worried. Carter needed help just to get off the field. Jags ball, third and 10. Tigers bring four and knock him down. Anthony Mullins, the Mississippi State transfer on the sack. Fourth quarter. Jags keeping the rally alive. Howard fires a strike. Touchdown Jaguars, Dylan Beard. Southern ties it up, then takes the lead with the extra point. Grambling needs a spark. With Mr. Excitement sidelined with an injury, Khalees Salmon dishes out a little excitement of his own. He cuts it back, turns on the Jets, past midfield, and forced out around the 40. Giving Graham fam, team, and fans just what they need. A few plays later, guess who's back? This is Carter, right up the middle. Touchdown, Tigers! 
the Superdome erupts as Grambling retakes the lead. That's almost too easy, guys. Southern trying to answer. Howard gets stripped and loses the ball. And Grambling has it. Brandon Turner recovers that fumble. The Tigers can feel their grip tightening on the Jags. Grambling kicks the field goal and makes it a two possession game. Third and 10, Jags still not giving up. Howard steps up in the pocket and gets picked off. His second interception of the game. Diamante Johnson seals the deal. And the 44th Bayou Classic is in the books. Grambling prepares to take on Alcorn next week in the SWAC Championship game. Now, let's take a look at the GFN Look Forward. Next up, the Tigers face Alcorn for the third consecutive year in the SWAC Championship, and Alcorn represents the SWAC East Division for the fourth consecutive year. 2017 will be the final SWAC Championship game. Starting next year, the championship will be determined by most conference wins. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to tell a friend about GFN. I'm Damian Ronald. Thanks for watching.